Welcome to a new fragrance review. Today we're going to try Z14 by Halston. So I bought a little gift set. Looks like this. And it was a, a two bottles that looked exactly the same like this. One's a spray bottle with uh, the eau de toilette or cologne. It says cologne. So we'd assume it's an eau de cologne. And the other one is an aftershave. Now I don't have the aftershave bottle with me, but it looks exactly the same. So there's nothing really to show. The only difference is that the aftershave don't have the little spray thing. So here's the bottle. And that's pretty much it. So let's try to smell. Reminds me a lot of those cologne type of scent that are not actual eau de cologne or stuff in the 60s, 70s, 90s, 80s. I'm thinking of Versace L'Homme, Bowling Green, Eau Sauvage, right, y'all? There's a lot of lemon and bergamot, a lot of oak moss, a lot of cypress, some basil, a little bit of leather also. That's what I'm picking up. On paper, on my skin, it was a pretty much a complex scent. There was a lot of lemon, a bunch of bergamot, a bunch of cypress, a bunch of cinnamon, a bunch of basil, a bunch of gardenia. Picking up a lot of gardenia also on paper. A little bit of leather, a little bit of oak moss, a little bit of vetiver, a little bit of patchouli, and a little bit of coriander also. And uh, the heart notes, I was picking up two main notes were vetiver and basil, and it was also a little bit of coriander, a little bit of patchouli, a little bit of leather, a little bit of oak moss, and a little bit of cypress. And in the base notes, there was nothing really that was more present than anything else, but there was a little bit of leather, a little bit of oak moss, a little bit of benzoin, a little bit of musk, and a little bit of tonka bean. Projection is really bad. It's more of a skin scent than anything else. Longevity though is really great, over 12 hours. And for the complete note breakdown, top notes are cypress, lemon, bergamot, green notes, basil, and gardenia. Heart notes are cinnamon, vetiver, patchouli, coriander, cedar, geranium, and jasmine. And the base notes are leather, oak moss, benzoin, musk, amber, and tonka bee. And where would see this fragrance? I think it's a really nice, clean, mature, manly scent. It would be a really great business scent. Somehow I assume that in the time that fragrance was released, as it was in uh, 1974, I would assume that at this time it was probably a great dating fragrance also. But nowadays it's not really what's popular, so I wouldn't put it as a great dating fragrance. In the summer, winter spectrum, it will be really bad in winter. Will be really great in summer. It, the projection just is so low that in summer you would be pretty much having a good time. And uh, the longevity will maybe reduce a little bit, but it's already great, so it will be nice for summer. And as an everyday scent, I think it would work well. It's really old school, but it's nice. It's clean. It's manly. Lasts the whole day. So I think it would be really easy to wear it as an everyday scent. In the end, I'm really surprised. It smells great. I was not quite sure what to expect. I see a lot of people comparing it to a bunch of scents, many I haven't tried. Without saying that it's really unique, I think it's not compared to the fragrance that it really smells like when you look on uh, Fragrantica. But in, in the end, it's a really nice scent. So, hope you enjoyed the video. If it's the case, well, like and share. If you ever tried other fragrance by Halston, tell me which one are the best one. So, thanks for watching and see you soon. Thank you.